Okay, so yeah, that's a question. I might as well record a video for YouTube because I get this question like I don't know how many times every time I stream I get why don't you go to any tournaments and it's I, I very rarely read YouTube comments because it's usually very cancer inducing and I would like to live at least until I'm like 70 years old so there's a very a little amount of YouTube comments I can read uh, but that's it but it, uh, it's pretty much the same with the Twitch chat but I'm kind of forced into dealing with it but I have a ban button <laughs> I like that button but so okay 50 times per day why don't you go to tournaments um, I, I went to tournaments in 2013, 14, 15, and 16. So I've been to a couple of tournaments, I've had a lot of fun, it's great. I get creamed, but that's not why I go to tournaments. I go to tournaments to have fun and meet the community. That is great! That's the best part of going to a tournament. Uh, there are a lot of great people uh, in the Tekken community. Um, and I love when people tell me, like, oh, you should go to tournaments, you're gonna cream me. And, and some of these people are not trolling, like, they, they look up, or they think I'm so good that I'm gonna cream me. And of course not, I'm not gonna cream me. I, thi I think it's, uh, it's very heartwarming <laughs> when people have a high opinion of you. But uh, Jesus, I mean, me and those guys, we're gonna no round round me, match after match, you know. Skill-wise, skill they are here. I'm here, you know, where there's no comparison. If it's about doing ele cool electric combos, yeah, it's the complete opposite, and I'm a god and the best in the world, but that's not what you do at tournaments, you know, you're there to actually win matches. Um, so uh, if I go to a tournament, you know, Tekken World Tour, I'm gonna get creamed, so why do I go there? It's to meet the community, and I've met uh, some good chunks of the community, I meet I feel like I meet a lot of people here, you know, when I stream. I find streaming to be very pleasant. But when it what it really comes down to is that these days, and I've explained this a couple of times, I don't want to sound too self-important or that, oh, Bane Man is so busy compared to everyone else. I'm sure that's not the case, but I'm doing uh, law studies full time and I'm working full time. And then I, I'm a father since like, uh, yeah, six months back. And prior to that, my girlfriend was pregnant for nine months and I didn't want to leave her alone when she was pregnant. So it's like, um, those, those things put severe restrictions on your availability for stuff like that. If I just miss one day of studying, you know, it can, it can, it sounds like I'm over -dra -dramati dramatizing, but it can have severe consequences for me and my future. You know, every exam I do, I have one sh you, If I flunk it, I have another shot at it, but then I'm fucked. I mean, completely fucked. And when I do nail it, like, oh, I made it! There are different grades. So if I, I'm gonna do tax law now, and I wanna become a tax lawyer. I really like it. And I have the exam in exactly two weeks. If I write a C, that stays with me permanently. I cannot do, redo the exam. Oh, that's a C. That's for life. So it's like, eh, it's very... Um, uh, it's pretty serious stuff. It's very stressful being at university. Uh, I've studied before, but I've never done academia. And that's, it's very stressful. Like, I'm, I'm much older than everyone else in class. And I can tell, you know, how stressed they are with the grades. You know, these 18 to 22 year olds, they're like, Ugh! sometimes they're crying, you know, outside uh, the, uh, the, uh, in the halls, you know, where we do the exams, they're like crying. I mean, people are very stressed and I'm, I'm not stressed at that level, but is it stressful? Yes. So when there's a tournament, you know, where it's like, oh, just take four days off to travel to this location. That's four days I can't study. It costs money to go to tournaments, hotel, and stuff like that, and th those are days I could work instead. So instead of having expenses, I could have income those days. I could study, which I have to. I have to study. And uh, it takes time away from my family, you know, I have to leave uh, my girlfriend alone with our son, and 
She loves being with our son, but he's a handful. You know, my days, it's like, study five hours, work five hours, be a dad, you know, be with, with Wilhelm the rest of the day. I mean, I meet a friend literally once per month. And that's okay, I'm, I'm quite the lone wolf, you know, like Cary Grant. Okay, not, I'm, I'm just saying, I don't have to socialize a shitload. Some people have to meet people all the time. I'm, I'm perfectly fine being at home a lot. I'm, kind of, I'm a family man. Um, but I'm just saying, like, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much a little bit in prison right now. But, but it's gonna be, become a lot better come the summer. I'm gonna have a break from the studies. Oof, great. And uh, I will only have, uh, in the fall, I will only have work and uh, be a dad. So it's gonna be much less stress. Right now, these days, I'm very stressed. And uh, uh, someone contacted me, I'm not gonna name anyone or name the tournament, but I was contacted to, from uh, some uh, uh, community figure who said like, oh, how about coming to this tournament? We'll pay all your expenses, you'll, you'll even get a salary, and I was like, Oh man, this sounds like so much fun, amazing, so kind of them, what an opportunity. And then it's like, oh, 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 no, it means uh, booking yourself up for a couple of days where you know the week after you have a fucking exam. And it's like, I get too stressed. You know, I have too much obligations in my life as it is. And it's like, I don't want that hanging in my head that in three months, <laughs> in three Come three months, you'll have to go to a tournament the week before an exam. You know you're going to be stressed. The stress levels are going to be through the roof. Uh, so it's like, um, no, uh, there's a lot of fun stuff. God, this turned into a long video. Um, but uh, there's a lot of fun stuff I'd love to do. Uh, but I'm, uh, my days right now in the coming months, it's like, must do these things. If you don't do these things, you know, you just skip a couple of times, ugh, consequences that can be very, very uh, hurtful, you know. And um, I guess that's one thing also that happens when you become a dad. It's like, okay, th this, this path is the most fun, but this path brings you and your family the most positive things uh, in a couple of years' time. So this is short-term fun, and this is uh, long-term... Uh, God, I'm trying to find the English word here, the equivalent of my grandiose Swedish word. Uh, this is long-term... I don't know, security? Welfare? I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, I hope that uh, clears it up, because I get this question so, so much. Uh, I just want to explain to you guys how I have to think about that whole thing. But uh, in August, I will be at uh, EVO Las Vegas. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I've never been there. I've never been to the US. So very much looking forward to that. Uh, so I am going to one tournament. Uh, and it is, you do get Tekken World Tour points. So when I do win EVO, I will have how many points? 12 points? No, I don't know how, how, how many you get. But uh, yeah, uh, I hope that answers it. Uh, take care, everyone.